Alright, in this video we're going to look at uh, evaluating functions. So here we have a function f of x is equal to 3x plus 7. And we want to find f of 4, f of x plus 1, and f of negative x. Well, let's look at the first one. Here we want to find f of 4. So what this is telling us to do is take the 4 and plug it in for x. Alright, so that's going to give us 3x, and in the place of x, we're going to put 4. So that's times 4 plus 7. Alright, and so 3 times 4, that's 12 plus 7, gives us 19. Alright, now let's take a look at the next one, number 2 we want to find f of x plus 1. So to do this one, we're going to take the x plus 1 and we're going to put it in the place of x. We're going to replace x with x plus 1. So we have 3 times x, but in the place of x, we're going to put x plus 1. And then we have plus 7. Alright, and now we simplify, so we're going to distribute the 3. So that's 3x plus 3 plus 7, which is 3x plus 10. And there's our answer. Alright, and then the, the last one, this f of negative x. So once again, we're going to take the negative x, and we're going to put it in the place of x. Okay, We're going to replace x with negative x. So this is going to give me 3 times x and in the place of x I'm putting negative x and then plus 7. So that's going to give me negative 3x plus 7. Alright, let's take a look at one more example. Here we have f of x equals x squared minus 10x minus 3. Alright, so we want to find f of negative 1. So we're going to take the negative 1 and we're going to put it in for x here and here. So that's going to give us x squared, so that's negative 1 squared minus 10 times negative 1, see, we replaced all the x's with negative 1, minus 3. So negative 1 squared is 1, and a minus 10 times negative 1 is plus 10 minus 3. And so that's 11 minus 3, going to give us 8. Alright, now let's look at f of x plus 2. So here we're going to take the x plus 2 and we're going to put it in for x here and here. So I have x squared. Now in the place of x I'm going to put x plus 2 and that's squared minus 10 and then in the place of x, I put x plus 2 minus 3. So this is going to give us x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay, so how did I get this? Well, remember, x plus 2 squared is x plus 2 times x plus 2. And all I did was fold that and got this. Okay, and then I'll distribute the minus 10, so that's minus 10x, minus 20, minus 3. And then I just combine like terms. So I get x squared, and then 4x, minus 10x is minus 6x, and then 4 minus 20 is negative 16, and negative 16 minus 3 is negative 
19. And there's my answer. All right, and then for this one, I'm going to take the negative x, and I'm going to put it in for x here and here. All right. Let me change the color back. All right. So I've got x squared. So in the place of x, I'm going to put negative x, and that will be squared, minus 10. And in the place of x, I'm going to put negative x minus 3. So negative x squared, that's positive x squared. And then that's going to be plus 10x minus 3. And there's my answer. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, and you can watch my other videos. All right, thanks.